So obviously I know it's Lemon Demon, but I put this question to you last time I listened to him. If you had to choose, would you pronounce it Lemon Demon or Lemon Demon? I think I'm team Lemon Demon. Just sounds more fun. It sounds like a real name. Speaking of my last video on Lemon Demon, I looked at it to figure out what songs I'd done. And I was like, this was a year ago. That's unfair and I don't like it. Time should not progress. That's my hot take of the year. But nonetheless, I'm excited. I am moderately nervous because I remember what the last video was like. And I'll tell you now, over that last year, there has been a ridiculous amount of times that I've been doing things, even serious things. Maybe I've been working and I've just gone, two trucks having sex. Two trucks having sex. My muscles, my muscles. So, you know, that's been an experience. And now it's time for even more. Before we start, I thought I'd let you know that I have a Patreon. You can get all kinds of cool perks there, including an uncut reaction once per week. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link will be in the description below. The first one is a long song. We're coming in hot. It's called Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm curious if it's gonna be a silly one right off the bat or if maybe we'll get a bit more of a serious sound. Oh, maybe I wasn't ready for another one of these videos. I like that soundscape, damn. Whoa. I remember thinking that he had this interesting 80s synthwave style, at least in his less meme songs. So I like that we're getting that right away. I feel like this is gonna be almost like a synth ballad. Oh, that rhythm is so strange. Something fascinating about Lehman Demon is that somehow he turns noise into music. I hope that makes sense, but it feels like in almost any other track, that would have been a really messy mix of sounds that didn't necessarily mesh super well, but somehow he makes them mesh. And I think it's where a lot of that erratic, strange sound comes from. Oh. That's that 80s voice I was looking for. I like that a lot. It's giving like metal vibes to it. Love that climbing and falling synth. That was messing with tempo and that's so weird. I would love to hear this bit, but made bigger for almost a chorus sound. Like imagine those chords that are being played on guitar, but translating them into this big reverby synth. And then with harmony layers, oof, that would be a good recipe. <laughs> Why does his deeper voice go so hard? This is a problem guys, I'm unironically jamming. <laughs> so cutesy, what the hell? It's really cool to hear what he can do with so little. Because if you listen there, there's really not all that much going on in the way of instruments. It's mostly just his voice carrying it. And the tone that he hits with that voice draws your attention in so much that it's hard to notice. It does make me laugh given the genre of music to listen to this and go like, yeah, musical genius. <laughs> oh, synth solo. I am so here for this, oh my gosh. The cymbals help wash out that sound, it's great. Listen to how much he's playing with those instruments. <laughs> I love his high notes, man. Those little harmonies, they're so good. Was that a tempo change? What? Artistic outro. In no way endorses. Why is this more unnerving than the rest of the song? In no way endorses. Okay. Saying it over and over again just makes me doubt it though. It would have been less suspicious if he'd not said anything. That was great. I enjoyed it. Absolute bop. I always love when I'm listening to something for a video and I am just bouncing. Also, what's wild is that didn't feel like a six minute song. It really felt like it just was gone in an instant. And I think that has a lot to do with how much that changed and did different things and layered in all this stuff. It kept me on my toes. I was always guessing and I wasn't sure what was coming next. So it didn't make for like a passive listening experience. I was actively engaged the whole time. This one is called A Mask of My Own Face. I wonder just how much existential dread this one's gonna have. 
a lot happier than I was expecting. Oh, damn. I was expecting like huge synths and big drums, but a simple, more muted drum pattern was definitely a cool choice. Bro, that bass is dirty. I am here for it. All right, so I'm pretty sure this song is about like being performative as a person. <laughs> That's a great line. This idea that the person that everyone sees you as is probably different to who you really are or who you really feel like you are. But also what I personally find interesting about this concept is how different people in your life will see you as a different person. People's perceptions of you are just based off of their experiences with you. So if everyone in your life has different experiences with you, they're gonna see you in different ways. Like a weird distorted trumpet. Damn, he's great at just crafting a soundscape. These weird fragments of words in the background are so strange. I shouldn't be sitting here just dancing. It feels like I'm dancing to someone's identity crisis. <laughs> oh, are we fading out to the end already? There's something about that that I just think is incredible and unique in that it feels uncommon to hear songs that are a bit silly at the core of how they sound, but that also tend to lean into dealing with a bit more serious topics. Just think about some of the lyrics there and the themes and what he's actually singing about, but it's buried in this almost fatuous sounding odd package. And I'm just so curious how often the messages would get overlooked, because I feel like it's gotta be pretty common, right? The next one I am very excited for, it's actually a fan animation using Lee Demon Demon's music. This one is by Aim Kid. I'll leave a link in the description. It's of the song Modify. Yeah. Bouncy already. Love it. I'm already living for the art aesthetic as well as the song. It is so stylistic. All right. Okay. Yeah, cool. Squish him. I'm just gonna take a quick stab at the meaning of this and then we'll carry on with the song. But just based off of what I've heard, it seems like it's touching on the idea of people feeling like they have to change in order to either look good or fit in, but dealing with that by taking these situations to the extreme. That sound is awesome. I love the filtered vocals. Again, I should not be dancing to this given what it's singing about, but it's so hard to resist. Some of these visuals are intense, but you know, I mean, as I as I speak, what on earth is going on there? I think it's cool how Lehman Demon really keeps the pace going by kind of having what I'd call a bunch of half choruses. Don't get me wrong, in a lot of songs he does have full length choruses, but in ones like these, he kind of is able to use and manipulate that chorus a bit more because he's not letting it stick around too long. He's giving quite short choruses that then jump back into verses, but then jump back into choruses quite quickly. Good God. I mean, I've got to be right with the meaning, right? There's, there's, I can't think of anything else it could be. There is so much effort in this art, damn. <laughs> I love the shaker, it's almost like a Christmas sound at the end. Dude. Oh god. <laughs> that smile was was creepy. The song and the animation, both top notch. I don't even know what genre of music I would call that, and I love that I don't have words for it. It's just Lehman Demon. <laughs> so I talked quite a bit about the song, but I just want to quickly say, in regards to that animation, other than just being good quality and well done, I think that artist really captured the vibe of the song. I feel like they hit the nail on the head when it came to what should be accentuated and just how to make certain parts feel. It was very impressive and I'm really glad I put it on the playlist. I am also excited for this one because it's another animation. I'm not sure, but I actually feel like I've heard at least snippets of this song, but I don't think I've actually listened to it and I definitely haven't watched this animation. Still so funky though, oh my god. Old Godzilla 
was hopping around Tokyo City like a big playground when suddenly Batman burst from the shade. So it's about Batman vs Godzilla? Wait, Shaq? Hold on, what? What am I watching? I don't think in my life I've ever thought about or considered the idea of Abraham Lincoln shooting Batman. That is a brand new concept to my brain and I'm struggling to make sense of it. Regardless, I am just living for the style of these drawings. I mean, look at that. Look at them angry eyes. He's an angry fella, angry little Godzilla. Destiny. It's so simple, but it hits, man. Why is Jackie Chan attacking Shaq? Why are these guys all fighting each other though? Wouldn't they want to work together to take down Godzilla? Or do they all just have pre-existing beef that I don't know about? <laughs> of course. Down from the, the wonderful heavenly music and descent. Which could shatter bones into the crotch oh, no. of Indiana Jones. Curtis and John be the genie. Robocop, the Terminator, Captain Kirk, and Darth Vader, no pants, Superman, everything. He's just naming a bunch of people. All came out of nowhere, lightning fast, and they kicked Chuck Norris in his cowboy ass. It takes everyone to take him down, I guess? Fair enough. This is the ultimate showdown. So, did Mr. Rogers win? I would pay to see Mr. Rogers fight Godzilla. <laughs> Wait, what? Why did he? Okay, then. I have nothing to say, but sure. Why not? I do genuinely like that most of the songs I did for this video were quite serious. We had some deep, pretty thoughtful lyrics in all three of those other songs. And then we ended with that. But you know what? It was fun. It was an experience. I certainly feel like I've been on a ride. So what more is there to say, really? Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.